Have you ever wondered how submarines work? How they can stay underwater for weeks, travel thousands of miles, and remain undetected? In this video, we'll take a deep dive into the world of submarines and explore the fascinating technology behind these underwater vessels. Welcome to Learnify TV. Today we're going to talk about submarines and how they work. So let's get started. Submarines are underwater vessels that are designed to operate beneath the surface of the water. They are used for a variety of purposes, including military, scientific research, and exploration. Submarines are propelled by electric motors, and they can stay underwater for extended periods of time, thanks to their advanced life support systems. Submarines are fascinating machines that rely on some pretty amazing technology to operate. One of the most important components of a submarine is its propulsion system. A submarine's propulsion system consists of two main parts, the engine and the propeller. The engine is responsible for generating power, while the propeller is responsible for converting that power into motion. Submarine engines are usually powered by either diesel fuel or nuclear energy. Diesel engines are used on smaller submarines and are similar to those found in cars. They burn diesel fuel to generate power, which is then used to turn the propeller. Nuclear-powered submarines, on the other hand, use a nuclear reactor to generate heat, which is then used to produce steam. The steam powers a turbine, which turns the propeller and moves the submarine through the water. The advantage of nuclear-powered submarines is that they can operate for much longer periods of time without needing to refuel. In fact, some modern nuclear submarines can stay underwater for up to three months. A propeller is the part of the submarine that converts the engine's power into motion. It works in much the same way as a boat propeller, but with some important differences. Host Submarine propellers are designed to be as quiet as possible, so that they don't give away the submarine's position to other ships or submarines. They are also designed to be very efficient, so that they can move the submarine through the water quickly and with minimal noise. Another important component of a submarine is its ballast system. A submarine's ballast system is what allows it to dive and surface in the water. A submarine's ballast system consists of a series of tanks that can be filled with either water or air. When the tanks are filled with water, the submarine becomes heavier than water and begins to sink. When the tanks are filled with air, the submarine becomes lighter than water and begins to rise to the surface. This process is controlled by the submarine's crew, who use the ballast tanks to control the submarine's depth. It's important for submarines to be able to control their depth because they need to avoid obstacles like rocks and other underwater hazards. They also need to be able to hide from other ships and submarines. To navigate underwater, submarines use a variety of sensors and systems. These include sonar, which uses sound waves to detect objects in the water, and radar, which uses radio waves to detect objects in the air. GPS allows submarines to determine their precise location in the water, which is essential for navigation and for launching missiles. Communication is also important for submarines, especially when they are on a mission. Submarines use a variety of communication systems to stay in contact with their base and other ships. But communicating underwater is not easy, because sound waves travel differently underwater than they do in air. That's why submarines use specially designed communication systems that can transmit and receive signals through water. One of the biggest challenges of operating a submarine is maintaining the crew's safety and health. Submarines operate in an extremely hostile environment, where there is no air, no sunlight, and no way to escape in an emergency. To keep the crew safe, submarines are equipped with advanced life support systems. These systems provide the crew with air to breathe, food to eat, and water to drink. A submarine's life support system is a complex network of equipment and systems that are designed to keep the crew alive and healthy. This includes oxygen generators, air filtration systems, and water treatment systems. Submarines also have medical facilities on board, so that the crew can receive medical care in case of injury or illness. Another important aspect of a submarine is its stealth capability. Submarines are designed to be as stealthy as possible, so that they can remain undetected by other ships and submarines. To achieve this, submarines are built with special features that make them hard to detect. For example, they have a low acoustic signature, which means that they produce very little noise. Submarines also have sophisticated radar and sonar systems that allow them to detect other ships and submarines from a distance, without being detected themselves. Submarines are also equipped with weapons systems, including torpedoes and missiles. Submarine-launched missiles are an important part of a country's nuclear deterrence strategy. These missiles are capable of delivering nuclear warheads to targets thousands of miles away. Submarine-launched missiles are launched from a tube located on the submarine's hull. The missile is then propelled out of the tube by a rocket motor. Submarines can launch missiles while they are submerged underwater, which makes them harder to detect and gives them a strategic advantage. When a submarine needs to resurface, it uses its ballast system to expel water from its tanks and become lighter than water. 
The submarine then rises to the surface, where it can open its hatch and allow the crew to exit. Submarines are amazing machines that rely on some of the most advanced technology in the world. They can travel thousands of miles, remain undetected, and launch missiles from beneath the waves. But operating a submarine is not easy. It requires a highly trained crew, sophisticated equipment, and advanced technology. We hope you enjoyed learning about submarines and how they work. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to Learnify TV for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.